Greetings everyone and welcome to the assembly. My name is Hassan and in this video I'll be showing you how you can make a desktop reminder app using Python. As you can see now, this is my code. Uh, this is what I did and I will go through the code line by line and show you what I've done. But let me show you how, uh, what it looks like at the moment. Welcome, reminder benefits everyone. There's a title, there's a display method. And in how many minutes would you like to uh, would you like the application to remind you? I'll run this in, in the end. Let's go through the code. Let's the, go through the code. Now what we have is here, we need to have the TK intern, uh, TK intern, import everything, message box, the plier. You also need to install plier. Uh, and I'm using PyCharm, so all I have to do is just go over here, search for uh, plier. And then I can just uh, download it. Uh, but for you, whatever you're using, uh, you have your ways, you know. So yeah, I didn't start it from here since I'm using PyCharm. So it's, it's uh, simple as that. Now what I do is, before I get into this code, I'll first discuss the GUI, GUI I've been working on. So the thing was that first you have the the master. Where as you can see, T, I make a variable called T. And then I uh, like a label as TK, the, the method, the function, and then I will say t dot title, and then I will say this is the notification application. Actually, let me just open this over here. I will go step by step. So t dot title notification application. As you can see, this is the application over here. The title and the geometry is 600 by 300, 600 width and 300 height. As you can see, um, like you can adjust it however you like. Mine is pretty ugly, but I believe you guys have you guys are much more creative than than I, than I am. So like it will look much better. As you go down, this is the function. I'll get it to get it to get to it in the end. But first, let's discuss the GUI, as I said. So over here, as you as you can see, H label. I made a label saying T the master. So if you see a documentation of label, you will see it says master and then the other things. So first, you need to put the master where everything is going into, which was T, which we made. T is equal to T. Uh, T is equal to TK is equal to um, TK uh, parentheses. And then you say label T and then text is equal to, for me, it was welcome reminder benefits everyone over here. And then the font I made it, uh, this is the font, uh, what's the word, uh, the font, the name of the font. And this was the size of the font over here. As you can see, I made it 20 and this is the font name and system. Now you might be thinking, okay, are there any other font I could use other than this ugly ones? So good question. Yes. So what you can do is if you go to Jupyter Notebook, uh, this is what I ran in Jupyter Notebook. If you go and run this from tk inter import tk font root is equal to tk font dot family then you get all the families font families you can use over here my favorite one is albadi personally but uh system was there and it looks okay so i was like okay let's uh, go with this one so here it is now going back to the code over here as you can see this this is kind of i repeated uh, like this code and then use it for every other things so over here the um, replace the believers and then over here the label now this label is for gonna be for this one. So T label, label, same thing. T is the master. And then T dot text title font is equal to so and so. And the place, the place is the kind of the X and Y of where you want to place it in the master the, or, or the T in this case over here. And then same with uh, over here, uh, the entry label. So entry is what I labeled it as that in the title, beside the title, what are you gonna enter? So this over here, this part is for this. And then same, same, same situation, same scenario, nothing different. It's pretty easy. I like this to make this pretty easy. And then you go to uh, label over here for label to display message. Same with the entry two, same with label three, and so on and so on and so on. And then once I come over here, after the label four, which is min, which was this over here, I had to position label it to see where it would land. I tested it out a couple of times to see how I can position it and that's how I got this over here. Now I see the button, the button, of course, button, but is equal to button. And then over here, the master is always, and there's other parameters you can input into this. Text is equal to set notification, the font, over here, the set notification, the font, system as usual, 10, bold, FG, the uh, like a 6F, so it's white, the text is white. And the background over here, it is blue over here. The, this color over here, it's actually translates to blue. Now the weight is 20. The relief, 
relief what is relief it is kind of like the border of the button as you can see is raised so there's different over here you, you can go through flat raised sunken bridge solid groove and then you can use any one over here over here as you can see i had used um raised over here and then come on get detail get detail is the function we actually made on the top i'll get back to that i'll get back to it no worries no worries and then and then place where do you want to place the button on the t itself the master and then this is the coordinates and t dot resizable i will say okay if i want to make it resizable if the person can change the shape or say, make it big or small now if you put this over here and then you run it see it's gone you can't resize, resize it anymore so with this you try to uh, make sure that it stays in the same uh, place and same same shape not place, sorry the shape and you can't resize it, resize it anymore and now last but not least the main thing that keeps it going is an infinite loop which is the t dot main loop which makes it keep going on forever because if you take this away you don't have to believe me i'll just show you right now class it's not opening right so that's why this is a very important uh, function over here it works again now coming to the main function that makes it all possible so once i press this button I will, you will see what happens Def define the function get details and you'll say get title get title all get over here the title dot get which i made over here title and then i'll get the title and get message get the message and then go there and then i'll get the time and then so on so i say uh, i will say if the get title uh, get title is empty then show this alert all fields are required if any of them are empty then you need to um, show you need to show the, show this message over here let me test it out so notification all fields are required as you can see so everything needs to be uh most of it um filled up and now uh, else if, if get title and get title um ends and the others are like uh not empty so then run this function so i have a time over here i will get the time using the import time i will say time is equal to float get time and then min to second i will turn the minutes into seconds because that's how it, it will roll message box ask yes no there's different uh, you can use over here message box ask no there's ask no cancel if you go over here I, there's different things you can use ask question ask okay cancel ask retry ask no i use yes or no this one over here and these are different things you can see the documents are really helpful i really encourage you guys to go and and search others documentation and other function and methods you can use to improve this even further and then and then time time dot sleep how long it will last for and then notification dot uh, notify which is the proper message you will get from the notification which you will get in your uh, pc or laptop and i will say okay the title dot get title message the message you will input the app name notify the app icon is the icon you want to use which is really important because without this app, app icon the icon it won't work because I've tried it myself and it doesn't work. And how long the notification will last for? In this case, it'll be just 10 seconds and it'll be gone. So now you guys are waiting for this, right? All the patient and hard work is not going to come, not be fruitful. So now I will say title break. Everybody needs, I will say the message, everybody needs a, needs a break to concentrate. It rhymes. And now I'll say it for 10 seconds, you can say 0.1. And then, like I said, it will uh, times it by 60 and get the seconds. So this will be 10 seconds, 0 0.1, and set notification. It will ask for a notifier. Okay, is this working? Uh, like, um, what's the word? Uh, confirm the not notification or not. Over here, as you can see, ask yes or no notification. You run it, and now, after 10 seconds, you should get our notification right over here, like you would get for any other application, like uh, a calendar or like a WhatsApp same way you'll get a notification for me as you can see over here for me it comes over here for some reason it's not coming over here but it should come for you if, if you if it does run it should look something like this over here you should see over here getting the title and the notification and that's how it, it would look like and that's pretty much it this is the application of how you can use desktop reminder app to remind yourself about important things Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to keep up with our content, follow our social media links below.